various things, whether it's torturing people, because if we don't, they're going to kill us. And, and this is really the, the only option that we have. Right, um, right. Yeah, so now I want to move on. There's a, a great study that came out this week. I think uh, in part it was put out by the Cost of War Project over at Brown University. And then the, yeah. the lead author on it is this guy, David Vine, and he has a write-up on it at uh, this is uh, Responsible Statecraft. And so I got, uh, for people watching, I got like a, a picture up here of a map and then uh, some of the counts that they come up with. Uh, but the the headline of the piece is million displaced by U.S. combat since 9-11. And then the, the big number that everybody points to is, uh, was it 37 or 39 p million people at the 37, very, yeah. 37 million people at the very minimum uh, now have been displaced uh, for, by uh, the U.S. terror wars. Now, a lot of these people have been able to return home. Uh, but certainly not all of them. He counts 5.3 million in Afghanistan, which is 26% of the pre-war population. Uh, 33.7 million Pakistanis, 3% of the pre-war population. Uh, 1.2, uh, 1.7 million Filipinos, 2% of the pre-war uh, population. 4.2 million Somalis, 46%. Uh, 4.4 million Yemenis, 24%. 9.2 million Iraqis, 37%, 1.2 million Libyans, 19%, and uh, 7.1 million Syrians, 37%. And so, I, I mean, you know, these are crazy numbers. Well, imagine if 37% uh, or even, you know, 19% of your community was displaced by some violent action. I mean, uh, I guess the number of people displaced maybe in a city like Kenosha from the riots is closer to like the two percent from the Philippines, but uh, this is this is crazy numbers uh, of people who are forced from their homes uh, because uh, of this uh, warfare, and uh, um, you know we're looking too at millions of these people aren't even forced you know to a different you know maybe a temporary refugee camp in their own country, but rather forced to flee overseas and into even more dangerous territory at times uh, to try to eventually wind up somewhere safe. Yeah, I mean this. Yeah, and like you mentioned, the the figure of thirty seven million. That's just the lowest, most conservative estimate. I think their high end estimate was fifty nine million people displaced, uh, and that's just in American wars launched since nine eleven. And that actually doesn't even count like some of the smaller American interventions. I think this is just Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, Philippines, Libya, and Syria. But there's all kinds of other stuff like you know Africom's all you know very busy in Africa. There's other there's other interventions they're not including that have of course smaller uh, you know impacts. But nonetheless, I mean, we're talking like uh, with some of these other countries, like Somalia said, 46 percent of the whole population was displaced. That's like insane. That's like a devastating society ruining kind of like phenomenon. Again, like you're saying, imagine half of your community just like like having being forced to flee and then having to come back. And like I don't know, just the, the disaster that that brings people aren't working like your society basically shuts down when that happens. So it's right. devastating. Well, and then, you know, it just what that says about what's going on, too. I'm sure that if 37 percent of the population is displaced, that the unemployment rate has to be close to or higher than that. And, you know, right. nobody's got a job. Everybody's living in these miserable refugee camps. A lot of times they end up getting run by criminals and gangsters. Uh, the, the either U.N. or whoever internationally ends up getting involved in coming in distributing aid almost all the time they it's like the a percentage of time that the the aid workers end up essentially exploiting women is massive you know this was a children a too. story yeah coming out of like syria post isis is just like all these women saying you know they had to like expose themselves or trade sexual favors to get food uh in these camps and stuff like that uh i i want to talk specifically about the syrian numbers because uh, the, this guy got a whole lot of pushback on his study, uh, particularly about Syria, uh, from a whole bunch of the, uh, you know, crowd that were, you know, were the advocates uh, of, you know, all these uh, policies post 9-11 and all these wars that we've since gotten. And, you know, people who grew up with the Cold War mentality and, it, you know, the second that there was 9-11 exploited to every degree to get, you know, the massive U.S. war across the Middle East and, you know, North Africa and Afghanistan and everywhere else. Uh, but 
the, particularly in Syria, they, they complain that like, hey, you know, this is Assad's war that they, they, you can't count the displaced people from the U.S. They specifically only count the provinces that the U.S. was involved in post-2014 when we started carrying out our overt operations against ISIS. So the, this isn't even counting all the people that like lost their homes from the terrorists that we funded from 2012 <laughs> on. You know, this right. is only, Timber Sycamore, yeah. Right. This is only counting uh the the you know stuff that happened east of the Euphrates, you know, the the you know, people who lived in Raqqa until the US blew up their home. Right? You know, that that's what we're talking about here. And, and not to mention and as you said before, the entire uh it, it, you know, Islamic state of uh you know, Iraq and the Levant or whatever people want to call it, uh was originally the Islamic State of Iraq and was created as a result of Bush's invasion of Iraq, uh, the second one. So, I, I don't know. I, I feel like he's being overly generous by not counting all the people displaced uh, anyways, and, and yet they're, they're still going to nitpick it and say that, oh, the, you know, the number shouldn't be so high. And anyways, even if you dis don't include the Syrian number, what, 34 million or whatever sounds that much better that, oh, oh that's well, fine, that's, yeah. that's acceptable. You know, 34 million people displaced, that cost is worth it. But, you know, 37 million, oh, well, that's a little too much. And of course, yeah, how dare you suggest that? Higher, uh, if you looked at the Yemen number, I feel like from, you know, some of the, the stuff that I've read about the number of you know people living in the, the displaced camps like uh, around al-hudaydah and stuff man that that number seems a little bit on the low side to me but 